This video is about using Switch to Scan with the new Switch Control feature introduced in iOS 7 by Apple. Switch to Scan was originally introduced to allow users to scan using voiceover mode. But now Switch Control has been introduced in iOS 7, we appreciate that users may well want to use Switch Control uh, in preference to voiceover. The rest of this video is devoted to the best way to do that. The easiest way to use Switch to Scan for Switch Control is to use the Quick Access mode. I do this by pressing the Quick Access button once briefly. And you'll notice that the green LED beneath it comes on. Also notice that after 30 seconds or so that LED will begin to flash. That doesn't mean that the setting has changed in any way, it's simply a way of conserving the battery. Once we're in this mode, the sockets have become fixed function and the normal voiceover operation of switch to scan has been suspended. And sockets number one through to four have space, enter, tilde one and tilde three functions. Although this setting is intended for switch access in switch adapted apps, it can be used for switch control and in fact it's ideal for doing so. It's best to only use sockets 1 and 2 if possible, these are space and enter. Sockets 3 and 4 are tilde 1 and tilde 3, and these don't work too well with, with switch control because switch control takes the first character that it sees only, and this is tilde in both cases. If you really need a third switch, then it's okay to use one of them, but please don't use both because the tilde will mean that they both do exactly the same thing. First of all I'm going to set up and demonstrate manual scanning. First it's very important that we ensure that we're in quick access mode and as you can see the green LED is already flashing so we must be in quick access mode. Now we go to settings, general, accessibility, switch control and at the moment we have no switches configured. What we're going to do is set up the red switch as move to next item and the yellow switch as select item. So we're going to switches, add new switch, external, press the red switch and I'm going to call that red switch and I'm going to assign it the function move to next item. Similarly I'm going to add the yellow switch I'm going to call that yellow switch. This can be anything at all, but it makes sense to name them after the functions that and the colours of the switch that you're actually using. And I'm going to call that, assign that to select item. And that's it, I'm all set. So now if I go back to switch control main menu, I'm going to turn off auto scanning. I've got a switch set to manual, sorry, to move to next item and therefore that's a manual scanning feature so by turning off auto scanning that will now be configured correctly turn on switch control back to the home screen and now I can scan freely line by line when I get to the line that I want to scan within select and then I can scan within the line Notice that when I get to the end, a further press of scan to next item gives me a dotted cursor around the whole line. If I select item at that point, then I come out and I can again scan line by line. Once I get to the app that I want to launch, let's say the calculator, select item, and I'm into the calculator, I can now scan within the app. So now to set up and demonstrate auto scanning. Once again I need to make sure that the quick access mode LED is either lit or flashing. Once I've done that I can go to settings, general, accessibility, switch control. And at the moment I have no switches set up. In this particular example I'm going to set up one switch, the yellow switch, 
and I'm going to assign it the select item function. So I go into switches, add new switch, external, activate the yellow switch and I'm going to call it yellow switch. And I'm going to assign it the function select item. And here you see it at the top of the screen. If I go back to the switch control main menu, auto scanning I've selected to be on. That's because we have no other means, no, no switch to get us to either the next item or the previous item. So for this configuration I need it to be in auto scanning mode. And now all I need to do is turn switch control on. If I go back to the home screen you'll see that it begins to auto scan automatically. When I get to the line that I'm interested in, if I press the switch then it will then begin to scan within the line. Once it's got to the end of the line you'll notice that you get a dotted cursor around the whole line. If I press the switch at that point now then I go back to scanning line by line. In this example I'm going to launch the camera app. So I scan to that line and then scan to that app within the line and I'm into the app. And notice how it scans automatically within the app as well. So I can wait for it to come round to the shutter release which is the white circle on the right hand side and then I can take a picture.